So I'm here with Mark de Cucinis, the CEO of the Boutique Group. Mark, thank you for joining us. My pleasure, thank you. So tell us a little bit more about the Boutique Group and what you do. Boutique Group, uh, we have these beautiful palaces and historic buildings in Saudi Arabia, uh, formerly from the kings and uh, of the past, and uh, also they have, each one of them has this very special story. So Boutique, what we do is we're entrusted to uh, protect the culture and heritage of Saudi Arabia. We'll be the first Saudi luxury hospitality company. So it's about service and it's about the people of Saudi Arabia. So these beautiful palaces designed, developed, and uh, transformed them into ultra luxury hotels. Well, it sounds fascinating. Can you tell us a bit more about those properties and why each one is so unique? Well, each, each one of them has a special story, as I said. So we have a culture and heritage division and our head of, of culture worked very closely with the Ministry of Culture because there's the tension and the detail of uh, the palaces to restore them. It really takes time and it's a work of love for us. So the, to tell the stories of each of the palaces, of the kings and the families and the guests they entertain is really interesting and exciting. And for our guest profile, it's very important because our guests will be the top 2% of the luxury uh, business and uh, uh, leisure travelers, of course. So they traveled anywhere in the world, and it's about these experiences any, in these exotic places in the world and historic places. So it's really to create that experience and memories for them. So Saudi Arabia is really it's intriguing. It's really exciting. We're a new destination, and we have such a vast variety of regions. And we're located in Riyadh. Two of our palaces are in Riyadh. One's in the embassy diplomatic area, and it's like a uh, twig. It's shaped like dunes, so it really reflects the desert. But you're right in the business district, and it, but it's very peaceful, like an oasis. So we have these beautiful villas that are new. The palace is the original palace that's being restored. So it's, it's fantastic for, for business and meetings and also for uh, luxury weekend and getaway. Um, the other palace in, in Riyadh is the Red Palace, which is really historic because uh, King Saud uh, had this love of roses. So you can see in the landscaping and also in, in the interior design when we restore it, it will reflect all these elements of the roses and the uh, arts, but also this art deco uh, effect. So it protects the uh, architecture and design and also installs elements of modernity as well because you want the comforts of, uh, as for our guests, but also protect that, uh, that history and culture. And we have another palace in uh, Jeddah, which is on the Corniche, Ahamra Palace, which was King Faisal's uh, palace. Um, unfortunately, King Faisal never lived in it because when it was finished, it was too opulent. So he used it as a guest palace for like King Charles, Princess Diana, many uh, monarchs and uh, world leaders that visited. So very interesting that he was such a and the royal family are so humble. They just uh, use this as a guest palace, but it's really beautiful. Because Ahamra being on the Red Sea there, uh, it really shows that international elements from Asia, Europe, and uh, of course, Saudi Arabia. Very nice, very interesting. Well, they sound like very special places, so I'm very excited. Could you tell us, you're here at ATM, why is it so important for the boutique group to be here? What are your key messages to the audience here this week? The message is that Saudi Arabia, we're open to the world. We have most incredible project uh, in Saudi Arabia. And we're part of the Vision 2030 of His Royal Highness. And we're just a small part, but this is a very special part because we're not a giga project you know, like Diria, Red Sea, which are fantastic, and Kadia, the other projects which are very important to uh, attract tourism to Saudi Arabia because it is an amazing country. But these palaces are very special and unique to protect the culture and history of Saudi Arabia. But again, it's about the experience, the hospitality of Saudi Arabia. The people of Saudi Arabia are the most warm and embracing and generous people that in the world. 
So working in Saudi Arabia to create this Saudi hospitality company as the first one, it's important to be here at APM because this is very important for the GCC and globally, you know, everyone in the tourism industry is here and we want to get the message about us that we're special, unique, but we welcome everyone uh, to Saudi Arabia. Um, and finally, um, ATM's theme is fostering travel and tourism entrepreneurship to deliver economic growth. Um, where does the boutique group in Saudi Arabia fit in with this theme? And we're certainly entrepreneurs because uh, we, myself and our team, we're very diverse. We, our backgrounds are in luxury hospitality from different great brands. We're combined together also with our Saudi team, which is the most important. And I have a great Saudi team that understands luxury, understands luxury brands and service, but also the Saudi hospitality element. Because we're here to serve guests and provide this royal hospitality. So it's very unique and very specialized. This is not, this is something that evolves, you know, to uh, restore these palaces and provide this service really takes time. And I call it a work of love because it's something, I've been in the hospitality industry all my life. It takes people that really have this deep understanding and care and want to extend that to people, uh, to our guests in a personalized way. Royal service is everything is taken care of for you. And we want to treat all our guests this way to provide that experience. So it's not a selection of service. It's providing service the way you want it, how you want it, and anticipate it. So it's very, very special in particular. So identifying the, the talent and training and developing our Saudi people to provide this that's natural in them is, is very, very important. So it's a, it's a story that we'll continue to meet and update you and we're developing this and we're learning and developing this uh, as we go along. We have this beautiful palaces, but the service elements and the design elements and uh, the extension of Saudi hospitality is evolving. And uh, Saudi is a very much a mis very mysterious as well because it's quite new, especially luxury hospitality for us. And I think that's part of the excitement for uh, our guests from Saudi Arabia and from other countries because we really want to provide this experience where for the royalty and the, the profile of our guests, which is the very top of uh, royal families, uh, the entertainment and celebrities, and also entrepreneurs from different countries. But you can experience these in our wellness, our restaurants and events we embrace everyone from the community. So this is just not limited for the guests that can experience it, but also you're very welcome in the community to come and visit us in our restaurants and uh, our, all our uh, palace uh, hospitality. Well, it's great to hear that everybody will be able to experience it yeah. at some point. So, Mark, we wish you and the boutique group the best of luck and thank you for joining us. Thank you, and as His Royal Highness said, Saudi Arabia is the story of the 21st century, the success story. Come visit us and otherwise you'll miss it. We don't want you to miss it. We will, thank you. Thank you.